back to another figure review. Today we're going to take a look at Joy Toys Armed Forces Force Recon set of five figures. The other box is just a plain brown box on the top that says Joy Toy and a sticker that has a C on it. And the sides and back and front are just brown box. The bottom, brown box. So the boxes are not taped. You just simply open them up and you'll find six individually small boxes inside. Like so. Each one of these little boxes inside, these five black ones are your five figures and accessories. And then this little box has some additional accessories and joints. Okay, so each of the figures are labeled just as simple an A and so forth. This is your first figure, front of the box. Kind of looks like the team leader. See an A down at the bottom. Side of the box. The back of the box shows the back of the figure. Side of the box has armed forces with all five figures pictured. Top and bottom just have a logo. Now inside of these little boxes are your figure. Inside the box are these little plastic boxes and an insert. Each figure comes with these, even the additional box that has the accessories in comes with your accessories come in this. This is a display stand. Each one of the actual boxes have a different texture, different style, different sculpt. And then your figures come in here in a plastic bag with the accessories. Now you can't use these ones as a display stand because they don't fit. Now the newer ones which are pretty awesome. Actually they modified them and put another piece like this up top so you can use it as a display case and then stack them on top. Figure A comes with this little insert Every one of the figures have the picture of this figure that's included in the pack. But on the back it shows the actual figure and his accessories. For each for each figure. Product information. Okay, let's take a look at the figure. How these figures come Without the vest and thigh pads and belt on, you have to put this on yourself. I went ahead and put these on myself ahead of time because it takes time. You have to heat up these thigh pads and the vest to get it to clip on the side. And they're just simply a pair of, pair of these color pants and a green olive shirt. But you, it probably took me, you know, like a half an hour or so. Probably two, three figures about a half an hour. So I'm in there like an hour just heating these thigh pads and these vests to get them on without breaking them. And then heating up the joints, heating up the entire figure, which is recommended by the manufacturer. I'll go through the articulation for one figure because they're all the same. The head is on a ball joint, spins 360. 
there's actually a neck joint so you can push your head forward and it comes out and that's just on a ball joint and I just simply push this back down you can swap off the heads since these are no name characters you can call them whatever you want ball joint shoulders bendable elbows on both sides hands spin all the way around again I want to be careful with these figures because they're my personal collection and I don't want to break them this hand goes up and down on the wrist this hand goes in now, now these joints work pretty good because I use a hair dryer to heat them up and it does work so do it if you're going to buy these figures we are going to regret it because you break some of the joints he does bend at the waist There is a chest articulation, but because of the vest, you won't be able to bend it. Legs go out, like so. Well, because of the crotches, they really don't sit perfectly, but because of the extra articulation, you can kind of get a decent one. Double ball joint, double jointed knees, but it is hindered by the thigh pad on both legs. Feet tilt down and they do go all the way around. This is your figure A. Nice headset, glasses, very nice head sculpt, tactical vest, nice detailing, front, it zooms in. Come on, there we go. Radio goes up. Belt. The belt has some pads on, some hoops to hang, whatever you want. Got flags. Who uh, has a flags on his arms? This belt is removable and it moves around. He has a watch, mm, thigh pads with a gun holster, comes with a pistol, knee pads, if I can stay in focus, I'd be okay. Okay, well that's your figure A. This figure comes with this vector, assuming looking gun. And a pistol. A little trigger in there. Very well detailed. Okay. And because of heating these up, and these actually fit in here, I recommend how you put these in is to be very careful because this gun holster is only on and glued on. Which if they fall off, you can glue them back on. No problem. Put your thumb on the bottom and slightly push down.
See, it's pretty nice down in there. Here he's holding his gun. As you can see, the articulation works really well. You gotta play with it to get it just right, but he can get some pretty dramatic poses. Some up close little shots of it. Very nice. Sorry about that, I'm trying to keep the camera in focus. Now that is your figure A figure. Okay, this is your figure B box. Same style on everyone, all five of them. Front to side. Back, back of the figure, side, top, and bottom. For your figure B, insert, I should have the little letters on the top corner. Does that same photo. And your figure B figure, and its accessories. Basically the same insert, just in, just this one different photo. Here's your block stand with the plastic case. That's what that one looks like. And here's your figure B figure. Nice head sculpt. Pretty much all the same figure bodies, except for maybe the arms that have short and long sleeves. Four of the figures I believe have the same tactical vest, except for the fifth figure. That's this gun he comes with. And they all come with the same pistol. So there's no sense of showing it over and over. Here he is holding his weapon. The figures are really well detailed. Okay, here's your figure C, front of the box, side, the back of the box, top and bottom. It's the figure insert, same photo as always, and your figure with this weapon. This is his plastic case that he comes in, and his figure stand design. Okay, here's your figure C, different head sculpt. For one of my favorite head sculpts, the backwards hat and glasses and face paint and beard. Nice up close details.
side view. This is gun. It's the same gun as the last figure. So this one has a silencer on it. Taking shoulder weapons pretty good. Hold the weapons in different positions. So well, you can get a nice arm bend. Here he is in different pose. You do have to be careful when you're putting these weapons in their hands. The trigger finger gets in the way, it can get bent, and the thumb is kind of tricky. So watch those two fingers when you're inserting your weapon into the figure's hand. It's just so nice figure. Okay, here's your figure D. This is your sniper of the team. Front of the box. Side. Back. Other side. Top. Bottom. This is your figure D insert. Same product shot. And the same except for the photo of your figure and his accessories. Here is his case and his figure stand sculpt. And here's your figure D, your sniper. Nice ball cap sculpt with a black sunglasses and some headset. Very nice head sculpt. Side shot of the figure. The back. Other side. The front. This one's probably my favorite figure of the set. Here he's showing his sniper rifle. There's a bipod on it. That bipod is really tough to get on. And so the legs are thin, you can easily break off if you're not careful. So be aware of that. And that is your figure D. Here's your figure E, front of the box, side of the box, back of the box, other side of the box, top, bottom. Here's your figure E insert. figure and his accessories. And notice that this is the same figure on both sides. But that's what they look like without their vest, and thigh pads, and belt. Here is his display case, I guess, if you want to call it that. His figure stand design. 
Oh, these sugar sands have one peg on them. And here is your figure D. I'm sorry, figure E. Now this figure is quite different. It has a different vest and a belt with a I'm sorry, yeah, a belt with a re removable knife right here. And a knife has a black handle and a silver blade. And the backpack, unfortunately, is one piece with the vest. It does not come off by itself. To take off the backpack, you have to remove the entire vest. Now on, the, on the back, it has these clips to where you can either clip his gun or his axe that he comes with. The axe is done in all black. It's a very nice sculpt. Pouches on the side. There's his gun. Same gun as the other, I think it's figure A and B, but no silencer. Some grenades there, painted silver, very well detailed. And here he is holding his gun with both hands. You can definitely, if you sit around and you could figure out some pretty cool poses with the hands and wrist articulation. There's two of the figures together. These two figures together. And there they are all together. Very well uniformed. You can pick and choose who you want to be your squad leader. You can name them whatever you want. Switch out weapons. Now these figures stand very well. Do some comparisons here. Here is one with G.I. Joe Figure Club exclusive sneak peek. How they scale together. You can use these joystick figures with any of your 3.75 inch or 1.18 scale collection. They fit in pretty nice. Here is a Cobra Bat. And here he is with a boss fight figure from Vitruvian Hacks. Okay, this is your last box. Box 6, if you want to call it that. Front of the box. Side of the box. Back of the box. Other side of the box, top and bottom. This is the case that's inside there, number six box, figure stand in the case. And as you can see inside, you little baggy accessories and joints. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I went ahead and dumped them out. 
Give some extra guns. Two with silencers and two without. They're all the same guns. Also in the bag are some seven extra hands with different poses. Given different commands. Remember, if you're going to swap these hands out, make sure you heat the joints up first with a hair dryer for three to five seconds. Twenty one. Some gripping hands. And lastly, these are replacement joints. For those who do not heat up their figures and break them. These are your knee joints. You get shoulder joints, elbow joints, and I believe foot joints. But if you ever have, if you do break them, remember to heat them up. That's the key to remember: heat them up, not too much, like three to five seconds should be good. Be very careful when you move them so you don't break them. Okay, that's everything you get in this set. This is the Joy Toy Joy Toy Armed Forces Force Recon. This set's hard to get right now. It's kind of older. Very popular. This set was around I think ninety dollars. Online retailers. If you can get them now, they're well over a hundred dollars on the third market. So I recommend you pick them up. They're awesome for any collection. And I that's it for this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Got many more reviews coming of George Ray figures, G.I. Joe's, and many other things. Thanks for watching.